Hey ladies, so I'm back with my two week update. Um, I decided to go ahead and um, do another update just because they're having a little bit of changes. Um, today's actually day 16, 16 post op for me. And um, I have on a regular top because uh, I don't have any physical changes, I don't think, and I kind of want to wait until the one month mark to kind of before I show again. But I will say that now I definitely feel 100% back to my normal self. Um, I'm doing all the basic normal things I was doing before. My doctor told me at two weeks I could begin being active again, so now I can work out again. Only thing that feels abnormal is like it does hurt to kind of like jump up and down uh, when I am being active. No soreness at all um, with as far as muscle goes. Oh, the only thing normal that I can't do is sleep on my stomach. I don't know if I'm allowed to, I didn't ask, but I did call my doctor and ask if I could sleep on my side because I'm tired of sleeping on my back and he did clear me to do that. So I've been trying to sleep on my side for the past two nights, but I keep waking up on my back because I have, I'm still sleeping on the incline pillow um, just because I guess I'm kind of gotten used to it. So maybe tonight I'll actually try laying flat on my side because it doesn't hurt um, to do so. And um, I'm just afraid that I will roll over on my stomach, so that's why I kept the pillow up. Yeah, I know I mentioned in the last video how I had a pain on my skin, like when I touched it was a little bit tender. And actually it ended up being on both sides and I still feel it now. And I noticed last night in the area where it hurts, my skin is peeling, almost like, you know, you know it happens with sunburn. Um, and I would get a close up if I could, but it's not really all that visible for you to be able to tell. And so, I don't know what that's about. Um, I don't have any stretch marks. Well, I don't have any new stretch marks. Strangely enough, I already had them right here. Um, because I started, when I hit puberty, I started developing fast. Like, my boobs were the first thing to come in, but they unfortunately stayed the same size. I feel like they've definitely gotten a lot softer. I can move them around with ease. But I am wearing a different bra than before. This is my work bra because it um, doesn't have any padding in it but it has lining. Because um, now, ever since I got my implants, my nipples are always hard. Like, even when I'm not cold, they're always hard. And it was kind of embarrassing at work to have that happen. So, I had to get something to kind of um, shield that, and believe it or not, and I, I know I don't look it, but it doesn't matter because this is what it is, um, I'm actually fitting a 34D now, so I have gone up size, but I don't think it's that I went up, I think it's that I never was in the correct size to begin with. Um, the reason I think they don't look that big is because they are really flat to my chest, like, um, like even the bra that I have, I feel like... I feel like my like my nipples are like right on the edge so it's not sitting right and that this part needs to be like this like if this if this fit like this then this bra would be more comfortable and my breast could actually go in the right way so I'm kind of tempted to sew it like this because this feels so much better because right now it kind of feels like it's tight but I know it's not tight like I know I can't go any bigger go out bigger size at least not yet um Maybe after the whole fluffing thing, but I don't want to. I'm pretty happy at the size that I turned out. Um, I did finally shave underneath my arms. Um, the incisions, like, they, um, if you touch them, they're like, a, it's like a lump underneath. And I guess my doctor said it's like the fat, because you have to cut through fat, so I don't know, it'll go away, I guess. And as of maybe Saturday, they were still sore when I touch them, but now they don't hurt at all. So I mentioned before how if you get a breast um, if you get a breast augmentation, you can expect that you may lose um, sensation in your nipples. Um, now I'll say this: before I got breast implants, never really had any sensation in my nipples. Like yeah, I could touch them, feel them, but they weren't sensitive or anything. But now, since I have gotten implants, they are extremely sensitive. Um, so much to the point where it's actually irritating, like in my, um, the bra that my doctor wants me to wear, it's, it irritates my skin because I can feel it rubbing against me and, um, 
I told you how he wants me to go a couple hours a day without wearing a bra. Well, when I do that, I have to just sit around topless because I can't take the sensation of the fabric of my shirt, like hitting against um, my bare nipples. And the bra that I have on now, I guess I don't really feel it because, um, because like I said, it feels like it's tight. So it's kind of pushing on my nipples so they don't, they're not really grazing up against the fabric. So I'm not affected in that way. But I said I had a sensation in my nipples where I don't have any feeling at all, where I'm like completely numb, like if I were to touch or somebody else were to touch, I wouldn't feel it, is my areola. Like I can't feel anything at all. At all. Um, it may come back, it may not, I don't know. My back stopped hurting finally. Um, I think, like I said, I think I am just getting used to sitting, sleeping, sitting up. Sorry, I cut my hair and I don't like it. Um, I experienced my first period post breast aug and I will say that um, it wasn't a pleasant thing like I before I got implants I used to get my brush used to get pretty tender before my period so I guess now since I'm still healing um, it they did hurt pretty bad um, I don't know hopefully I get used to that um, sneezing is pretty um, pretty uncomfortable like I when I feel the sneeze coming on I do not like to do it because I feel like somebody stabbed me in the chest because my you know your muscles whether you realize it or not your muscles contract when you do it so um yeah sneezing is not a good thing um what else would you want to know just in case this is the first video video of mine that you're coming across I got Round Smooth Mentor Saline Implants Under the Muscle 225 cc's in my right and 250 in my left and that has put me at a 34D um, but I probably look like a um, uh, I guess a C in clothing I don't know maybe a freaking B but I don't care I mean I like the way they look to me they look they look fantastic naked so um I'll go back to the way they feel. Um, as far as touch right now, do they feel like real breasts? Absolutely not. Um, they're really, really firm. My sister has naturally larger breasts. Um, they actually are probably like the same size now, so I was feeling hers and they feel nothing like hers do, but they don't feel like hard rocks either, if that makes sense. Um, um, the bit of puckering that I had around the nipple is starting to go away and um, the incision around my nipple is um, healing very nicely. I don't know if in any of the other videos I mentioned how I was going back to work. Um, I My surgery was on a Tuesday and I was back to work on a Saturday and I was fine. My back was killing me more than anything. Um, I kind of just stand around all day so uh, nothing too strenuous. Um, but it was uncomfortable to have to hold my arm up for a extended period of time. I work for Clinique, so whenever I had to do someone's makeup, it was uncomfortable to have to hold my arm up for a while. <laughs> I've gotten used to it, and I would say by probably the third day back at work, I, um, I felt okay about everything. But I mean, just because I was back to work so soon doesn't mean that you'll go back to work so soon. I guess I'm just, um, I don't know if I have a, just a high pain tolerance or if my body just heals itself quickly like I don't really ever get sick and oh, something that I think helps um, is the fact that I kind of forced myself to get off of the um, painkillers probably before I was ready to just because I didn't want my body to be dependent on something else like I don't like painkillers kind of just block out the pain receptors in your head but it doesn't mean that your body isn't enjoying the pain so I kind of wanted my body to know that it's going to pain so that it can get used to it and not be babied by the medicine so I think that's another reason why I was able to heal a little faster because um, I like force my body to just suck it up and deal with it so um, do I think the massaging has helped them drop faster yes Definitely. If I hadn't been doing that, then they wouldn't be down. They would probably still be where they were um, from the get. And now my massaging regimen has changed. Um, before I was doing it every two hours, and now I just do it two to three times a day. But I do it more than three, uh, two or three times a day because I just 
like touching my boobs, so I just do it without thinking. <laughs> I would say I kid I'm kidding, but I'm not, so. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of what else that I could tell you. Oh, I will say also that um, sometimes I'll get itchy, like under here, but I think that's um, because my skin is stretching. And now that, that, I just realized it now when I touched that feeling that I had here, like the tenderness, I feel it here too. So I have a feeling that maybe in like the next two days, the skin will be peeling too. Oh, even though I can lift it, even though I am clear to lift things, it feels uncomfortable too, I guess. And not that it hurts, it just feels weird because something is blocking my muscle from touching my chest wall. So it's just kind of awkward. Like, um... Closing my trunk feels really weird, but I can deal with it. Like it's, I'll just have to like, get accustomed to that. And I probably like couldn't do a push up if I wanted to. Um, well, I mean, I could. Let's see. So I mean, I, I can't. I'm capable of doing a push up, but um, it feels weird. You know what I mean? Like if I was somebody that did push ups before, I wouldn't want to do it now. So. Um, that's also something to consider if you are somebody who really is into upper body workouts. Um, I'm no doctor, but I would probably suggest that you do it over the muscle because, uh, doing it under submuscular would probably restrict that unless you just do partially under, which, you know, I never really understood the whole partial thing. So maybe somebody that has, does have partial, um, partially under partial stuff muscular, muscular, what's the term for it, I don't know, um, could tell me what does that do, because I don't, I don't know. I told you I was a 32A or 32 double A before, but I don't think I'd be going back to a 32, like maybe, I don't feel like I'm swollen anymore, so I, I think all my swelling has gone down, and the 34 band that I have on is comfortable, so maybe I'm just going to stick to a 34, maybe I was in the wrong band size before. Um, I am, tw I'm like 27 or 28 inches around my rib cage, so I don't know how they do that. But yeah, so my, um, one month follow up my doctor is on the 23rd, and I will definitely be updating you ladies after that happens, and that's when I will do, put back on my teeny bikini and, uh, do a comparison of all three after one day, one week, and one month. Okay, but if you have any questions, just um, leave them below or feel free to message me and I'll try to remember to include them in my next video. Okay, bye ladies.